hi guys it's your girl life with the roberts i want to tell you thank you for commenting thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing so guys in today's video i'm just going to be talking about preparation people make when they want to travel from the diaspora uh to africa it can be anywhere in africa and anybody can relate to this video like things that you need to put into place so i just want to uh check in with you guys to see i mean if you watch the video let me know if these are preparation that you make to or if you take any idea from there to go along with your plan so let's get into it so first of all when you want to travel from here to africa or back home it is something that takes time so and it require proper planning you just don't wake up and say oh i'm just gonna travel sometimes people take six months people take one year or two years or even three years to plan a trip to the motherland wherever place you're going so normally or from personal experience i know that it takes time it's not something where you just up and travel unless there is an emergency secondly when you plan your trip and if you see that it's coming closer to the time the next thing you do you inquire about airfare you know plane ticket it depends where you're coming from uh in the u.s or in the uk wherever you're coming from you go to an airline or you purchase your own tickets online and now due to due to the economy the ticket prices is so high it's not even funny personally speaking from experience where we are about to travel and the airfare is almost 1900 just for one person okay so after you inquire about your airfare or you go down and buy your ticket or put some money on your ticket the next thing you do you are either inquiring about either you have your Liberian passport or you have to get a visa or visa upon arrival, whatever thing you do, you know, so you have to inquire about that. If you have your Liberian passport, on the other hand, it's an easy thing. If you don't, then you have to go to Washington, D.C. to uh, get your visa, which I'm hearing. And I did call is a mess over there. When they used to have the, the Minnesota consulate in Brooklyn Park here, it was so much better. But now that they removed it, if you call the Liberian embassy in Washington, in Washington, in Washington you just get a busy tune on the phone the whole time. So I don't advise that you do. I've heard people saying that normally they send their passports and it's taking longer time. But hey, you know now we're all Africans. So the next thing, if you already have your plane ticket and you got your visa and it's time to go, gosh, the long ride from here all the way to Africa. It's some trips are 14 to 16 hours. It don't matter where part of the world you're coming from. It is that long of a time. So just imagine sitting that long time or transiting from different country to different country like from us we're in minnesota so sometimes we do washington dc we do chicago or we do jfk but just imagine that length of time you have to sit down just to get to where you're going and if you do that you know why you already know about how long you're gonna sit you have your luggages with you you know and when you're traveling overseas i mean they i don't think there's any travel where you don't prepare as in like you know buying some stuff for yourself or some stuff for families that are back home you know so or some friends so traveling involves is it is a lot it is a lot it is a lot so once you once you get your 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 luggages with you and you have to buy things to put all those things in it such as clothes shoes whatever you know back home our family normally request a whole lot of things if they know you're coming so it's, it's not an easy thing for anybody to do so let's say you have you got your plane tickets you got your visa your luggage is packed you're going but when you get to wherever you're going or wherever part of the world or 
and then when you get there some people go to hotel some people go to family places some people go to their own houses accommodation it all depends where you're going and it's not an easy thing like i i there i talk to somebody and i always tell them that i give people credit who leaves america and go to their own house back home because it's not an easy thing for you to leave here and go to your house back home because the it, sometimes if you go with family or friends you know you're not i mean you're responsible but not that kind of re, you know responsible responsible it's like you're sharing but when you go to your own place everything is on your shoulders everything is on you in the morning it can be the water it can be the the coal to put the fire on it can be the food it can be anything you are fully responsible for everything so some of the ones that go to hotels i mean i don't know if it's easier sometimes you know you can pay whatever you want to pay and then you know you go there and the the owners of the hotels or guest house or airbnb wherever you're staying you know they are responsible for the current and the running water and whatsoever so i don't know what is easy but i've noticed that the most difficult place to stay when you go is in your own house now some people may say maybe not you know it's your own house but i'm just trying to say because it's your house you are responsible for everything and i've went to africa before where i've stayed with family or friends so i'm just trying to say typical example you go to a family or friends you know and and there is no electricity they are the one they are the one worrying about oh you know there is no light why you are the other ones just there i mean if you want to help out you will help out with whatever little you can but if it, it but if it, it is your house you're like i can't sleep in this darkness so i have to make sure that you know i either put gas in a generator or do the solar panel or put some credit in a meter for lec so that is left from you so personally from my own experience heads up or high five to everyone that leaves here and goes to their house back home you guys are doing a fantastic job i applaud you guys for that okay so the next thing okay you are gonna leave here you're gonna travel but then you're leaving the diaspora and jesus is not easy when you're leaving from here some people goes to liberia for two weeks one week and i feel those are the easy trips because family and friends or some people that i know or myself we never go to africa for two weeks we're always two months three months one month two weeks and those travel when you're leaving here in america you have your mortgage or you have your rent you have your car note you have your insurance you have your cell phone bill your light bill and all those bills on your head and you're going to travel from here for two or three months it's not an easy preparation people make to leave here and travel over there for that length of time personally i cannot travel from here to africa for one week or two weeks just because the plane ticket is so high and there is so many things that you know i have to do when i get there so there is no way that i can do a short time but like i said this, these are not easy things to put into place here in america imagine leaving your work asking for time off paying your mortgage or your rent two or three times ahead uh catching up on your bills is not easy thing and then when you leave here you go there you're visiting family or friends whatever or whoever just imagine guys when i started from the top of the list where you you plan your trip that's number one it can be it takes time to plan probably is six months one 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 year two years you plan that you get a plane ticket number two you you get your visa and then you're on this plane for 14 to 16 hours number five you have these luggages where you're here you're like okay i'm going so i have to take some things for family members 
or for me I, I don't see there is no travel where you don't buy things for yourself or for family and then you leave here you're getting there you have to deal with accommodation issue it might be to your own house where you have your your things and now your things has been stored for a long time and you have to you know get that your house or get your things in order and then you're here in america where because you want to travel you have to settle your bills your 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 mortgage your rent and all of that is not an easy thing so this video today is not just it's not just i know most of my subscribers are in america but i know i see some of them watching from africa so this video is for you guys because this is not easy things that people go through just to travel and then when we travel and come over there you guys expect us to bring america or give you guys the whole word you guys should be i mean some people are very appreciative of whatever you take or whatever you give to them but i feel personally a lot of people in africa do not know what it takes for people to leave here or to travel from here to go there they just assume you just buy, buy your plane ticket and you come no this this is long-term plan that you do and there are some uh, uh, preparation that you put into place just because you want your travel to go smooth so guys i don't want to, to make this video too long if you watch the video let me know if you're in a diaspora wherever you are and you have experience or you have encountered some of these things where you have to pay a lot for plane ticket you pay for extra suitcases you have come back to the diaspora you are short on your rent on your mortgage on your bill just because of all these things you have to put into place because you want to go and travel either to visit family or to do your project just let me know in the comment section and also my subscribers that are outside too let me know what you guys think are we crazy for you know leaving our jobs for two three months you know planning paying fifty eight hundred seven thousand six thousand just for a plane ticket i mean for a family of four like we always do so uh let me know what you guys think guys i want to tell you guys thank you for commenting thank you for liking thank you for subscribing remember god time is the best and we are looking forward to our upcoming trip so just don't watch hit the like button and keep subscribing to the channel thank you guys and have a blessed day